that's all. I can hold it down. Just about. It's like touching the path is like being sent to the moon. Today we are doing the 100% force feedback death challenge. The main thing is I'll be alright as long as I don't crash. As long as I keep the car pointing in a straight line. Funnily enough, it's actually making it easier to drive and let me know the limits. It's just killer workout for the forearms. And as long as I don't let go of the wheel, that's the that's the main thing here. Let's take a break just for a second. Right? When I go slow, it's nice and handy. As long as I don't hit off of anything. <laughs> anything. I'll chase you guys in a minute. Let's turn off traction control as soon as we're here. Let's make it all the more dangerous. I'm not turning off ABS because that'll increase the risk of crashing way too much. And I don't want to break anything, so... There's someone. When it comes over the bends, oh, it feels like it's breaking. It's making it easy to drive, though. It's like... It's a mad workout, mainly on the hands, because I can't let go. If I let go, this thing will cut my hands off. And I don't want it to cut my hands off. Not a chance you can keep that. Yeah, you can hold on to that one, pal. I have uh, clutches. Okay, wheel spins are not go cool at 100% force feedback. So it's not going in the air over jumps. Let's do some heavy braking here so we don't hit the wall and break our hands. Ooh, we went down to neutral, or first. There was a huge rear lockup. No. No, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. No, fuck that. The wheel can hold on to what it wants to do. Let's catch that guy. I think he crashed. I have to say, I'm glad I crashed there and didn't hurt myself because it's nice for the hands to have a bit of a, a breather. That was really dangerous going one handed. <laughs> Even just clipping the path. <laughs> Man, that's dangerous. That is sketchy as all hell. No, the wall. Just, just about. <laughs> it's like touching the path is like being sent to the moon. <sighs> We've got to slow down just for one second. My hands. <sighs> I can hear someone go. <sighs> There's a vein in my neck that's about to pop. I don't know what it is. It's probably a doctor watching right now being like, mm, that's the precursor of, a, of an aneurysm. Come on, bit of throttle on the path, overtake. Whoa. That was with 100% feedback. I'm gonna have to clutch in. It's a bit of a fence up here if I remember right. Not that, not that, not that fence. It's up here. We found someone. It's the thumbs that really get it. The thumbs are really doing most of the hard work. Thank God that was a head on. Rash, jeez, that's almost my wrist gone. Just gotta be very careful with this shit. Yeah, okay, grand. Hope it goes without saying, do not try this at home because you will snap your wrists. 
hundred percent guaranteed. It's actually pretty fun to try out. I've never, I've never tried the wheel on one hundred percent force feedback before, and now I know why people don't do it. Not only is it unrealistic and probably eh, it could be a bit faster, but if you get it wrong, if you get it wrong, your wrists are done. Some workout though. Thank God. Thank God we were allowed to go through that car. Is that our competition up there driving away? No, I think that's just another car. Is he cruising? Nah, no downforce. I think this car has downforce or something. Not a chance. <laughs> Do not try this at home. No, fuck that. Okay. Sound of that car. If we can leave it at that. Yeah, that wheel's starting to get warm. Okay. Don't try that at home.